Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all. In this uh, video we will answer uh, two issues. Uh, first of all here we have a Muslim, his name is Scott. I don't know why he's calling himself Scott, but yet his name is Muhammad. Uh, he's saying uh, regarding the video about uh, Muslims uh, got busted lying about the mathematical numbers in the Quran. And look what he's saying. So what are you saying? Trying to say. It doesn't mean how many times those words have been used and it doesn't matter if there are some Muslims who are liars and say something which is not true. So he admitted that the Muslims are fabricating miracles in the Quran and it's not a true. And he's saying it doesn't matter. Now, look what he says. It is most important thing is that Islam religion is a true religion. How it can be true religion if the followers are liars? Why somebody is a doctor or if somebody is a sheikh I can show you right now tons of Muslim sheikhs in YouTube speaking about those mathematical miracles. So how you say that Muslims are belong to a true religion? When somebody like Shabir Ali with a, with, with a grown beard or Zakir Naik, those are your sheikh or did that. How come we did not see, as long as you admitted that they are lying, how come we did not see one of them or you making a video says did that is a liar. Shabir Ali is a liar. Zakir Naik is a liar. Why you Muslims, you keep your mouth shut when you know that this is a lie? I will tell you why. Because you don't belong to a great true religion. You belong to a scam. Otherwise, you will stand against the liar. It doesn't matter who is saying them. Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhas, or Muslims. Me, myself, I made videos and the, you know, my channel is my witness against people who claim to be Christians for saying lies against people who claim to be Jews for saying lies. I don't take a side. You, take, you, 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 you say a stupid thing, you say a lie, or you say an error, or etc. We are going to stand against you. Why, why the Muslims don't stand about this lie? How many videos if we search right now, or how many articles written by Muslims to expose those lies? Are you telling me from the 1.6 billion, I don't know how they, they are growing every day. You know, last two weeks it, it was uh, 1.4. Then the king of Jordan starts saying 1.6. Next week we'll have uh, two, two billions. N uh, two years from now they will say they are seven billions. And the, and the purpose of saying those numbers is just to make you believe that this is a true religion. This, this is a stupid of you. If this is the case, they are, we are more than twice more than you. And the atheists more than you. So what does that mean? So what if 1.6? 1.6 billion, none of them understand one word in the Quran. 1.6, how many of them speak Arabic? 1.6 they cannot answer how God he says that the sperm come from the backboard of the man and the sperm coming from the ribs of the women So don't count for me the numbers is still nothing Same time People around the world convert to Islam. There's a lot of people leave Islam and let us say the whole world convert to Islam That will not make it a good religion my friend if you are stupid you are stupid and we are here proving it People they convert to Islam because of the lies you just said the purpose of the lies, you just admitted that the Muslims are practicing it, is to convert people to Islam. So you are saying to me, there's a lot of people convert to Islam because they believe in your lies. As an example, the mathematical miracle of the Quran. This is the whole purpose of those lies. Now, as long as you admitted, look what he said here. I said to him, you can read my answer, I'm not going to read it. You can freeze the video, you can read my text. He said, these are liars. There is liars in every religion. And in the uh, and the, in the word, do you think in Christianity is religion not a lie? That is a big lie when you Christians say Jesus is a son of God. You see how stupid you are. Lie is something you say, which is you know it is not a true. If somebody believed that Jesus is God, my friend, he is not lying. That is your stupid logic for you are a Muhammadan. I never saw a Muhammadan is not stupid and people they say to me Why you keep calling Muslims stupid because they are look at this If if somebody is a Hindu and he says to you, I believe in uh, etc uh, I saw like uh, in, uh, in India there is some group of the of Indian not all the Indian group of people They believe the, like uh, rats are holy or something like that. This is what he believe. He's not lying. He's wrong there's a huge difference between wrong and lying, Abdul, potato. But I understand where you get this from. You got this from, from the stupid Muhammad in the Quran. When Muhammad could not debate the Christians, 
and this is the verse in front of you. The Christian, they came to debate him, and he have no answer as usual. So this is exactly what you are doing. Chapter 3, verse number 61. They came to debate him. He said, Allah, you know, okay. Uh, Allah told me, those who they are coming to debate you and argue with you, huh? uh, tell them, okay, after we, re we gave you the truth, what is the truth? They debate them, prove the truth. What is the truth? You don't even have a miracle. Jesus, he raised people from death. Jesus made the blind see. What Muhammad did, he had a penis of 40 men, as he claimed, and later we find out that he is not even having any. He don't even have a penis. His wife, she said, the prophet used to imagine himself having sex, but in fact, he never did. What does that mean? Even his sex was fake. So, my friend, when your prophet challenged to debate, do you know what he did? Exactly what you just said to me. Let us invite your children, I invite my children, invite your wives, I invite my wives, and let us invoke God to curse the one is lying. Like what? I mean, how stupid that is. If any of one dispute in this matter, okay, I want to dispute about this matter with the Prophet Muhammad. What, what we will do? Look what the Prophet will say to me. After the knowledge you receive, what knowledge? What knowledge? That Allah will insert a chain in the anus of Abdul? Come, let us get together. Let us get together, okay? Our sons and your sons. What do my son have to do with your son? We are debating, my friend. I, uh, let us say I have a son, he is six months old. Should I bring him? And you have a son, he is one year old. You bring him to do what? Our women and your women. But what if I am single? And what my women and your women have to do with this? Yourself and ourself, okay? And then let us earnestly pray and invoke the curse of Allah and the lie. Who is lying here? You idiot. If somebody believes in Jesus is God, this is his belief, he is not lying. You believe that Allah is God. You are not lying. You, this is your belief. This is how stupid donkey your prophet. And Muslims, they get upset because I am say, they say I am insulting. I am not insulting. You Muslims, out of logic, you, you, are, you are swimming with your stupidity. And you think you are smart. If somebody is an atheist, he don't believe in God. He is not lying. You Muslims, you have a stupid God, a stupid prophet. The atheist is not lying. This is what he believed. His belief is wrong according to you. No problem. But he is not lying. This is what he believed. You don't even understand what lying means. This is how stupid your God. And this is how stupid your prophet. And this is why you gave me a stupid answer. And you are insulting me, saying to me the F word. Well, I am not surprised because your prophet, he said the same exact word before. F yourself. Isn't it Abu Bakr? Isn't it the, the, the Sahaba? They said to a person who is a uh, uh, Muhammad actually, he said, the one who is proud about in his in heritage, go and tell him to go and bite the penis of your father. This is this is what your prophet is about. Look, look at the dirty mouth. Look at the filthy mouth. And this is why you are speaking filthy, for you are following a filthy prophet. Thank you very much. Don't forget if you are a Muslim. To put some cursing word for me and to invoke Allah to curse the one is lying. I mean, how stupid this invoke is. How stupid somebody is lying. Do, he, do you he think even he is uh, like, are you saying to me, hold on, hold on, are you saying to me that oh, God will not curse you unless you ask him to curse you for your lying? Are you look, look how guys, how stupid this statement. We need to invoke God and then he curse us for lying. So, which means, if you don't invoke him, you can lie, and he will not curse you. <laughs> My friend, in China, they say, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. And you, Muslim, no matter what you try to do, you have a donkey prophet, and you cannot make him a horse. What kind of God? He will curse you only if you ask him to curse you. So, if somebody is lying, but he don't invoke God, he is okay, stupid Muhammadan. Thank you very much. Don't forget to give it a like or dislike for the video if you are a Muhammadan. And for the rest, do whatever you wish. Christ is Lord. Islam is made by a stupid man for the stupid men.